Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. This video will be a tutorial on how to use Dora.ai to create a website. Dora.ai is an exciting new platform that lets you build stunning websites with interactive 3D elements, animations and much more through an intuitive drag and drop editor. So we're going to be building a website from scratch with engaging features and a specific theme using this amazing new platform. Dora is a visual web design platform built to help designers, agencies, and businesses quickly build immersive and interactive websites without needing to know how to code. Some of the key features that you can get with this tool is that you can import and display an interactive 3D model on your site. You can animate elements using built-in keyframe timeline, build responsive layouts that adapt to any device, leverage pre-made content blocks, and more. So this opens up more possibilities for interactive storytelling and engaging web experiences way beyond just static pages. First, we'll need to sign up for a free account at Dora.run. Once you're signed in, you will see the project panel where you can start a new website. So let's name ours 3D Desert and then hit create. So now we're presented by Dora's clean editor interface. The left sidebar contains your pages and the components. Across the top are options to add shapes, text, images, videos, and of course, 3D models. In the middle, we will have the main canvas where we will build our website and the right sidebar shows settings for whatever element that you have selected. Up top, you can choose device previews to test responsiveness and the timeline editor allows you to add animations. One of Dora's most powerful features is the ability to import 3D models with animations intact right into your web page. And the steps to getting it done is simply in the top toolbar, select the 3D icon and then choose cover space so it fills the width. Next up, we need to upload the actual 3D model file, Dora requires .glb file formats. Sketchfab is a great source for animated 3D GLB models, search for what you need and download the GLB version. So I found this awesome file that I'm going to be using, once downloaded, drag the GLB file onto the 3D box in Dora to upload it. And there we have it, our 3D kind of animation is displayed on the canvas, ready to be integrated onto the page. The 3D model looks fantastic and adds a lot of visual interest. And we can change the background color to make the elements in the animation really pop. After that, we can begin constructing the layout for the rest of the design. So click the text icon and let's add a header. To center it, check center horizontally in the constraints tab. And this way it stays centered without resizing. Below that, you can add a supporting kind of tagline and then attach it to the header text box bottom edge so they move together. And now you have a 3D file with the header and the title plus the tagline. And this is how you start setting your website to tell a story and it really sets the theme down. Next up, you might wanna add the navigation header. So add a container from the toolbar and then give it a white kind of background or rounded borders. Inside, place text for the logo and make the logo text match the header height, then align it left and connect its edges so it fits really nicely. And then add some similar text containers for many links across the top. Also make sure to connect their edges as well so they resize responsibly together. You can also drag in a logo SVG image file to replace the text with a real logo. Currently the canvas is just one screen height. We can make it scrollable so we can create a long vertically scrolling page. So select the handle on the orange canvas outline, bottom edge and drag down to extend it. A slider will appear indicating the viewport height. This will allow creating a scroll based animation. So try previewing it and then you can scroll up and down through a long page. And now we can add some cool scroll effects. If you want the header and the kind of 3D file to stick pinned to the top as we scroll down through other content, then we can achieve that by dragging the logo and menu bars to viewport top in the constraints panel. And then you can do the same for the 3D container. Now, whenever you're previewing, they stay fixed to the top while scrolling. This keeps our key elements visible while exploring down the page. We can also add some placeholder page sections like the about us and the services with filler text to showcase the sticky effect. By now you can probably notice that your page is coming together nicely and now we can add some depth and immersion using the parallax motion effect. The parallax involves layers moving at different speeds during scrolling to add a sense of depth. So group the number of elements into a container called the numbers and then place it behind the kind of model. Open the timeline editor at 0 seconds, set a keyframe for the numbers container. After that, scroll down the timeline until the numbers leave the viewport and then move the container up out of view. This will make the numbers scroll slower than other content, producing parallax as we scroll. But if the numbers are not lined up properly, you can go inside the container and adjust each number's position. Preview the scroll again and you can see the parallax effect looks amazing. Additionally, you can add a looping background video. 
So you can add one more visual flair, which is a looping background video to create an immersive kind of environment. Simply drag in an MP4 video file and place it underneath all of the other layers. Set it to cover space and stretch it across the full canvas. And then scroll down and add timeline keyframes to make the video loop infinitely. Some ambient background video adds a nice motion and reinforces the theme that you're going for. Finally, you might want to tweak some design details. As you can resize and center the 3D model to better fill the vertical space, add some more icons and supporting text to the header, populate content sections with real text, and that's how you get your finished animated 3D website however you want it to look and the way it scrolls. So thanks to Dora, we were able to integrate a reactive 3D model, build a responsive layout, add engaging scroll animations and way more just using the visual drag and drop editor with absolutely zero coding skills needed. This makes for an interactive, visually compelling web experience for site visitors. So as you can see, Dora is a fantastic web design platform for easily constructing immersive, visually impressive websites with some modern kind of elements like 3D animations and responsiveness with no experience or coding skills needed. Thank you for watching this video. Let us know if you have any other questions in the comment section down below. We'll be happily answering them in the comments or even making a new video to specifically answer your questions. If you found today's video to be helpful or informative to watch, then let us know by giving it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any follow-up content that we create similar to this one.